also hit the bell button so you don't miss any videos. Hello everyone, it's Mivaka. Welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, we are going to do our first little twin star charm that we got on the Sophie and Toffee box. I am going to be using the bezels, the two pigments and the resin that we got on the box and also the green tape that you see on screen so the first thing that I did was to take off the film that is attached to the tape and I press the bezel onto the tape so that way there's no gaps when I am applying the UV resin on the bezel next I start mixing the UV resin pink pigment and a lot of glitters I mix it and then I apply it to Lala's hair then I continue to pour more resin to do Kiki's hair I wanted to let you guys know that this is the first video that I will be doing with my phone and also editing with my phone which I have never done so yeah bear with me I just hope you like it <laughs> For the face, I'm gonna be using this orangey color, some resin and also white to make a light skin color. If you're interested on this Sophie and Toffee box, check out my description box below. I'm gonna be leaving some coupons or codes so you can save some money on your next Sophie and Toffee box. Now I'm gonna be mixing resin white and sun glitter for their dresses or t-shirts that they're wearing. Another question that I have, do you prefer me making videos like this where you can see uh, my whole area, working area, or do you prefer me uh, focus just on the charm, like really close up? Let me know in the comment below. Now I'm also mixing some resin, yellow pigment, and I think I use almost the same glitters, except for star glitters. I don't think I should have used it because you cannot see that well. I noticed that on color resin you really don't need to add like texture uh, glitters because you will not be able to really see it unless you're working with really transparent resin. With the same yellow resin I painted the star that you see Kiki holding I am curing my resin every 60 seconds or more it really depends but I just want to be like double sure in here I'm using some very small silver rhinestones for the eyes at first I tried to use black ones but I really did not like how they look I got this on Aliexpress Next, I was really unsatisfied, so I started using the glitter gel that we also got on the box. I forgot to mention that I also used this. And I used their respective colors, like pink for Lala, blue for Kiki, and then I also used the yellow and orange for the star. I really had no idea if I should have leave it how it was before, but I don't know, I just wanted to use everything or almost everything that we got on the box. Oh, and I also used the white one for the uh, blouse. And I think I covered the whole charm with gel glitters. And then I coated with more UV resin and then I cure it again. This usually happens when you don't know what to do. I'm honestly satisfied with the look. I think you can see all the glitters and everything that I put on the charm. Now I'm adding a bow charm that I got on Aliexpress too that you can see on my left side. And I'm adding some UV resin and I'm also curing it for a little bit. Now I'm using these rings that I really forgot the name of. 
and I'm gonna attach the charm with some chains so yeah I got this plier also on Aliexpress <laughs> I think I get everything on Aliexpress now I'm gonna attach this keychain with the chains and the ring thing again yep it's looking very cute now I'm gonna attach this wing charm that I think I got in one of the uh, Sophie and Toffee boxes and I'm gonna attach it together with the keychain so here's the part when I'm gonna improvise so I don't have any wires and I needed to attach these beads that I got from Joanne's so I stretch the earring hooks and I put the beads and I try to do my own eye pins I am not a pro at doing this I was actually watching a video while doing this so it didn't turn out perfect but it's better than nothing <laughs> I did this for two bits uh, because I wanted to, I don't know, make this charm the cutest as possible. So yeah, you see me right now attaching the first bit. Uh, now I think I'm gonna be uh, painting the wings. Uh, at first I was gonna leave it like that, but then I just saw it and it looks so plain. So I am gonna be painting it pink and I'm gonna be using some flakes, glitters that I have. Honestly, just adding some cute resin colored and some pinks it really made a huge huge difference so you see me right now applying the second bead you see that it almost looked complete but i was gonna uh cover the back side of the charm i did not like how it looks right now so i'm gonna try to cover it as much as possible with white pigment some glitters leftovers uh yeah just a little bit i think i should have used more white so you can see like the whole thing uh, on the back yeah sorry about this <laughs> I just did not notice that the camera wasn't focused so sorry I cured again and then I decided to add a little charm on Kiki's head I don't know for some reason it looks like a sailor hat I don't know that's just what I thought and I like it <laughs> and then I just apply it I apply some resin before for a final touch, I also glazed the whole charm just to be safe and here you have it. It's a super cute little twin star charm. I'm really really in love. It looks so shiny and it's so cute. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more kawaii charms, kawaii content. So yeah, if you like this video and if you like me doing like voiceover craft video let me know on the comment below i really appreciate so thank you for watching and i hope to see you guys next time take care bye bye